Hello and welcome to the second part of the video and I'm gonna ask you this question what makes objects fall downward to the earth so let's look at this picture we have a girl who has two balls and these two balls are falling downwards the earth right and let's just look at the second picture we have a girl who's running and all of a sudden she falls actually where yes on the ground so she falls on the ground which means downward to the earth why is that guys the reason behind this is weight so what is weight weight is the force with the body is attracted to the earth and that's why we said there is a big difference between weight and mass كلمه mass معناها يا جماعه the amount of matter in one object يبقى لما اجي اقول لك what is your mass you're gonna tell me for example my mass is maybe 70 kilograms اللي انتوا كنتوا بتسموه بالعربي الوزن يبقى الماس هو اللي بالعربي معنى الوزن اما what is the meaning of weight weight is the force with the body is attracted to earth the force الحاجه اللي بتخلينا attracted to earth بتشدنا نحو الارض تمام and this force is always what towards the center of earth عشان كده احنا قلنا في بدايه اللسن ان الماس has no direction ان الماس ملوش اي جهه لكن الفورس اللي هي اسمها الويت عندها direction which is towards the center of the earth يبقى احنا لما بيحصل لنا attraction لل earth تمام ده معناه ان الويت عنده direction اللي هو ايه ال direction اللي هو towards the center of the earth لما بنيجي نقع بنقع ناحية ايه the center of the earth okay great I'm gonna look at this picture here guys I'm gonna look at this man I think that some of you guys know the name of this man and this is the scientist which is that's right Newton. So Newton has told us something very important that things fall towards the ground or falls downwards the earth. Okay, and that's why we have this amazing note, which is yes, that the mass has no direction, as we said, but the way it directed what? Yes, downward the center of the earth. That's why we said mass has no direction, but weight has direction, which is directed downward the earth great and because this man actually invented this idea that's why we said something very important on fourth grade which is what guys yes that the unit that we use to measure the weight is newton so because this man decided to create this idea which is things fall towards the earth that's why we chose newton to be the measuring unit of weight يبقى احنا خدنا الماس عندها measuring unit زي ايه زي الجرام والكيلوجرام لكن الويت بقيسه بايه بقيسه بنيوتن or نيوتن اللي هو اسم الساينتست اللي قال الفكره بتاعت ان things fall downwards the earth great then i would like you to look at this picture yes this is a scale a very famous scale that you studied in fourth grade too and i would like to tell you something very important about that we said that we measure weight with Newton, right? So what is Newton? We talked about gram and we said that gram is equals to one paper clip. And we talked about the kilogram and we said that it's equal to one liter of water. How about Newton? Now I'm the younger brother, Newton as a unit. You're gonna tell him that Newton is equals to the mass of 100 grams. You day Newton at 100 grams. Okay, so it's equal to the weight of object whose mass is 100 grams. Great. I'm going to give you an example. If we're going to say we have 1 Newton, that equals gram, 100 gram. If we have 2 Newton, it's going to be equals to 200 gram. If we have 3 Newton, it's going to be 300 gram. If we have 4 Newton, it's going to be equals to what? Exactly, 400 grams. Wonderful, guys. And we have to know something very important. The gravitational force, which is the weight, you're gonna see this word a lot, which is gravitational force. Gravitational game game with gravity, pretty much is weight. Gravitational force for small object in the mass one hundred grams is equal to one newton. Great. So if we have the mass of one hundred grams, in a weight bitahi so we can bravo. One Newton. Wonderful, guys. Great. 
and the weight of an object can be measured by what exactly the spring scale the very famous one يبقى انا عندي spring scale هي تعتبر measuring tool اللي انا بستخدمها to measure the weight okay great now i'm going to talk about very important part of the lesson which is the factors that affect the weight عندي حاجات بتاثر على الويت number 1 the object mass طبعا اكيد انت خدت بالك لما اتكلمت وقلت ان 1 نيوتن بيساوي 100 جرامز يبقى انت حسيت ان في علاقه ما بين الويت ومن الماس that's why we said the first thing that we could say is one of the factors that affect the weight is the object mass the second one is the planet or the place of course where the object exists طب لما احنا كنا بنتكلم عن ماس قلنا ايه قلنا الماس doesn't care about the place because mass will not change if you change the place. لكن لما بتكلم على الويت هكتشف ان changing the place هيأثر بشكل كبير جدا على الويت. يبقى الماس ما بيتغيرش لو غيرت مكاني، لكن الويت هيتأثر لو غيرت مكاني. وأخيرا the distance from the center of the planet. تمام؟ المسافة ما بيننا وما بين the center of the planet. I'm gonna talk about the first one which is the object mass. How is that happen, guys? How we could say that the mass had this huge effect on the weight? I'm going to do an activity with you guys. Look at this table, please. If we're going to say, for example, that the object mass is equal to 1 kilogram. So, the weight's going to be 10 newton. Right? And if I'm going to say that the mass is equal to, then the weight's going to be, yes, 20. And then if we're going to measure the mass of an object, which is 3, we're going to find that its weight is going to be 30, etc. So as you can see, turning from 1 to 10, we multiplied yes by what? By 10. Because we're going to say 1 times 10 equals 10, 2 times 10 equals 20, 3 times 10 equals 30. So the relation that we have here is what? Exactly. The relation is Weight is equal mass, with kilogram of course, times 10. I'm going to look again at the table. We said, if you have the mass of 1, we're going to have 10 as Newton, yes, for the weight. And if we have the mass of 2, we're going to have 20 for the weight. So as you can see, guys, in order to get the weight, we're going to multiply the mass by what? Exactly by 10. And that's why we said, weight equals mass times 10. So what's the relationship between mass and weight? So what we can see here that the weight, sorry, the weight of an object on the surface of the earth increases according to the increase of the object mass. That's right, because when we look here, guys, we're going to find that whenever I'm going to increase the mass, كل ما هزود الماس, automatically the weight will increase. صحيح هل weight كمان هزيد. لما كان عندي ماس وهو كان 1, بقى عندي الويت 10 لما خليت الماس 2 الويت بقى 20 لما خليت الماس 3 الويت بقى 30 فده معناه ايه؟ معناه by increasing the mass of the object of course the weight of the object also will increase great now I'd like to look at this guys which is example an object mass on earth is equal to what? 6 kilograms and then I want you to calculate the weight on Earth. Great. So we have the mass of the object. We have the mass, which is 6 kilogram, but we don't know the weight. So let's remember what we said. We said the weight is equals to what? Exactly. Mass equals 10. Great. So how can we do this, guys? We're going to say that the weight equals mass, by kilogram, of course, times 10. So 6 times 10 equals 60 newton. Don't forget to put the newton because we measure weight with what? Exactly the newton. The second thing that affects the weight is the planet. We said that the mass does not actually affect it by anything because we said the mass will not change by changing the place. We said that the mass will not change by changing the place. We said that the mass will not change by changing the place. For example, if you're going to look at this picture, we're going to say that if I'm going to send an object to the moon, I'm going to send it to the earth. There's going to be any difference between both of these objects 
when it comes to weight لو انا عايزه اقارن التو اوبجيكت واشوف مين فيهم الويت بتاعه بيختلف ما بيختلفش هلاحظ ايه هلاحظ حاجه مهمه جدا the more the planet mass is increases the more gravitational force the more the object weights become يعني ايه الكلام ده معناه لو انا بتكلم ان البلانت دي الماس بتاعتها كبرت ساعتها الجرافيتيشنال فورس اللي احنا بنسميها اللي هي زي الويت بالظبط ساعتها هتزيد وطبيعا اللي هيحصل ساعتها ان الاوبجكت ويت كمان هيزيد يبقى كل ما الماس اوف ذا بلانت بيزيد كل ما الويت كمان بيزيد سو so اجين ذا بلانت ماس انكريسز از ا ريزلت ذا اوبجكت ويت انكريسز جريت So what we conclude here, we conclude something very important, which is an object weight on the moon is equal to one six of the weight on Earth. If I now compare it between two things, now I give the object to put it on the moon, and I give the same object that I put on the Earth. Have a look. Have a look. Is the weight of me on the moon is equal to one six the weight of me on Earth? عكس لما اتكلمنا على الماس تمام وقلنا الماس في كلتا الحالتين لو وديتيه على المون وديتيه على الارث هتلاقيهم نفس الحجم ونفس الماس مش بيتغير لكن الويت بتاعك لو انت حطيتي نفسك على المون وقس نفسك بعد كده على الارث هتلاقي ان الويت بتاعك هيساوي 1 6 وات يا جماعه الويت بتاعك اون ارث هنجيب اكزامبل ان اوبجكت هوز ماس اون ارث از ايكوال 6 كيلوغرام انا عايزاك تحسب لي ذا ويت اون ارث سيرفيس وكمان اون ذا مون يبقى انا كل عفايك عارف الماس بتاع الاوبجكت اللي هو بيساوي 6 كيلوغرام انا عايز اعرف الويت بتاعي On Earth, why is our field weight bearing on the Moon? As we said before, guys, something very important. In order to calculate the weight on Earth, we must tell us what we call it. The weight is equal to mass times ten. The weight is equal to six newton. And as long as I know the weight on Earth, it's easy to get it on the Moon. Why? Because I told you, guys, as we know, that the object weight on the Moon is equal to one six the weight of the Earth. So what are we going to do now? We're going to do the same thing. We're going to say weight on the Moon equals What one six in Earth? يعني sixty هنعملها divided six. ليه يا جماعة أنت بتقول sixty صح? Times one sorry over six. So basically, I'm gonna do it again, please, for you guys. Sorry for that. You're gonna say sixty, okay? Time uh, times one over Six, and that's why we have sixty. I'm gonna put it up here. The side that ends up with all sixty divided six. Then we're gonna put sixty times one. We're gonna put it on the side. The denominator of it is six. Sixty divided six has to be equal to ten. Of course, it has to be equal to ten newton. As simple as this. Great. And finally, the distance from the center of the planet. The last factor. So, for example, guys, I'm gonna give you this picture here to just give you a hint. And I have a balloon. We'll have to find the balloon. Diamond be rise up in the sky. كلام ده ليه يا جماعة؟ هنكتشف حاجة مهمة جدا. إن the Earth's gravitational force decreases بتقل as the body moves away from Earth. يبقى أنا كل ما ببعد عن Earth كل ما الويت بتاعي بيقل. لأن إحنا هنا gravitational force معناها الويت. يبقى أنت كل ما تبعد عن Earth كل ما the gravitational force بتاعك بت decrease يعني بتقل. Great. So, give reason. The weight of a person in a plane is smaller than Earth. If أنت وزنك على الطيارة, sorry, the weight بتاعك اللي هو اللي علاقة بالgravitation force بيقل اللي بتاعك وزنك بيقل لو أنت في الطيارة عن the weight بتاعك on Earth. قلنا لي قلنا لأن the weight decreases بيقل as distance increases. يبقى كل ما ببعد عن the center of the Earth كل ما ببعد عن the center of the Earth the weight بتاعي decreases. ده إحنا قلنا the gravitational force بتقل decreases لو the body be moves away from the Earth. فطبيعي كل ما بعيد عن the center كل ما بعيد عن the center كل ما طلع up 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 away from the center كل ما the weight بتاعي will decrease. And thank you for watching, guys. If you have any question, feel free to share it with us. Thank you.